In the emotional arena, let's put another facet onto this. And anybody know anybody who tends to live on an emotional roller coaster? Don't point to your wife. This might be your last happy day. Okay? <laughs> emotional roller coaster, right? How about yourself? We need to develop an awareness of how we are feeling and what we're feeling at any point in time and space. Most of us are automatic. We don't even know what's motivating our actions and our thinking. See, the idea with the emotional diet is to cultivate your feelings, to cultivate them, rather than having raw uh, emotions. Food choices are emotional, would you agree? I just have to say the word chocolate, and you guys will understand that one, right? <laughs> Drinking is emotional. Did you know that alcohol, people have alcohol issues? are basically looking for acknowledgement and recognition and belonging. And when you start to look at what alcohol does, when you look at Chinese medicine, you look at liver, the liver has to, that gets most damaged by alcohol, the liver houses anger. And a lot of times people drink alcohol because they're angry. Why are they angry? Because they don't feel that people understand them. And they don't want to feel that feeling. And so that they don't want to feel it, so they drink. And when they drink, the organ that houses that feeling gets damaged. All interlinked. We are not separate. We have to get away from this idea that the body and mind are separate. That's ridiculous. It's like saying that my ability to speak and breathe are two separate things. Imagine that. I'd be a lot richer if I could do that, but no. Here it is. We are totally governed and motivated by feelings, and I'm just so happy to discuss with anybody who says that's not true. And there's two bases to our feelings. There is fear-based feelings. All of them come either to these two bases, fear or love. That's all, you can work it all back down. When we have fear-based feelings, our we turn acidic. Fear-based feelings make our blood acidic, okay? And love-based feelings, have an alkalizing effect on our blood. We're the healthiest when we're in love, right? We don't even need food for, I mean, who needs food? We're in love. And you're glowing. Like as if you've been doing all this cleansing. And in a sense, you have been. Because there's no room for fear when you're in love. So when you have feelings that go down to the level of love, wow, you become alkalized. That's why if you're in a good mood and you're eating, it doesn't matter even if it's a little ice cream. Okay? It's not nearly as harmful as if you're, you know, I'm really stressed and I'm coming home today and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a drink because, because I am stressed. That's the last association you want to make. Instead, have a drink when you've met some new friends here and you want to celebrate a new friendship. You're changing the feeling and the, the item somehow magically becomes less toxic. And you'll know the difference in and on your body very, very quickly. Always identify the feeling behind an action, okay? Uh, when we do the uh, sailing through conflict presentation, I'm gonna tell you about four principles, and one of them is called the iceberg principle. This can be your teaser. Okay, what's the iceberg principle? The iceberg principle says it's never what you think it's about, ever. And sometimes we're dealing with 10% of what's seen and ignoring the 90. How far do you think we would get if we were dealing with that on this ship? And yet we do it all the time. So again, it's expanding the awareness and stepping back a little bit and looking at saying, what is the need and what's the feeling that I'm feeding on? Okay? Awareness is brilliant. It's like a light that's shining into the dark. Have you ever seen that when light shines into the dark, where does the darkness go? Have you ever asked? Where does the darkness go? See, light transforms darkness into more light. So that's awareness. Half the issues just dissipate. And if you don't believe me, an author, Candace Pert, has written a book called Molecules of Emotion. She won the prize for finding out why morphine makes us so happy. And uh, guess what? She has, the psychobiology of the body has been outlined in the emotional body level.